Hello everyone. So in the last episode, we were able to create this function which helped us to complete the peer-to-peer -peer, uh, connection. And in this episode, I want us to show the uh, video for our peer on our UI so that when we make a call, we can see our own video and the video for the other person. And I have already like uh, done that. So I'll take you through the changes that I have made. And uh, there are just a few of them. That is why I don't need to type things out. So the first thing that you need to do is to go at the bottom of uh, socket context file where we had the use uh, effect that was listening to these events, the incoming call and the web RTC. So in the last episode, we added these, but we didn't like, uh, you know, add this one right here for cleanup. So what you need to do is to check if you have this line right here. Okay. Socket dot off web RTC. Uh, RTC signal, then we uh, clean up our complete peer connection. And then you will add complete peer connection right here at our dependency array. And then uh, we already had our peer in the state. So the first thing that you do is to add it at the type. So you add here peer of type peer data or null. So add this line. And then at the very bottom, you add it at the value right here. You add peer. Now, once you do that and then you go to video call, you'll be able to access your peer from use socket. And then you'll also access the ongoing call. So bring in peer and ongoing call from use socket. And then now down here, you'll update this right here is on call. So initially we were setting is on call to a hard coded value, but now we'll make is on call to be dynamic. So you will add this line right here. You will check, do we have local stream? And do we have peer? And do we have ongoing call? So if we have all this, that means that we are on a call and we'll set is on call to true. Else, if any of this is missing, we'll set is on call to false. And you'll add is on call right here. And then finally, you'll add this line right here to show the video for the peer. So it's pretty easy. In peer, we have a stream. So we check, do we have a peer and we have peer.stream. If we do, we show our video call container and we set stream to be peer.stream and is local stream, we'll set that to false. So here we are showing the video for the other person. This is the video, like our own video. And once you do this, you'll be able to see two videos now uh, whenever you make a call. And we can test that. So you will run your application npm run nodemon uh, or npm run dev. You can use Chrome. I recommend Chrome. And um, one tab will be normal. The other one will be on incognito. Here I logged in with an email and password. Here I have signed in with Google. So I'll call this user and I'll initiate the call like that. Okay. And once we do that, we can already see the local stream here. And then right here, we can see the incoming call. Okay. And once I answer, what now will happen? It will emit that web RTC signal, which will go to the server. The server will send it to this person who called us and this person that will see that offer. And then, uh, when we get the offer, we will now create a peer on this side and uh, emit an answer to this user. And this user will complete the peer-to-peer -peer connection and will be able to see the two videos in both places. Okay. So I'll click answer. And as you can see, now we have two videos. One is at the top here. The other one is at the bottom here. So they are blank because I have hidden my camera, but... Uh, I can probably show it for a minute. It's just right here. Also, it's not super clear. But as you can see, we have two videos now. And uh, the reason that uh, they are the same is because I'm using the same camera. We need to style this so that it looks much better on both. Okay. I'll just go back to the code. And at video call, uh, what you need to do is to add uh, a class name here. And we will say margin to the top of four. And then we will say relative. Very nice. We say this is relative so that one of the video, our own video, will make it to be smaller and to be on top of this one. 
we go now to this video container so control click that will open that component we had created a cn function when beginning this particular course i think um so we will make use of that cn function cn and now we do that control space to import that cn function so inside this function like when we call it we'll have a comma here and then we will check do we have the local stream is local stream and and do we have is on call if we have those two that means that we are on call and what we will do we will conditionally render the local stream so if it's not a local stream these styles will not be applied that means that the peer will not be affected by these styles so here let's say width to be 200 px and for uh, like mobile you could probably change the styles and so on so that it's responsive on mobile so here in this course i'm focusing uh, mostly on the logic and not the styles so h auto and then here absolute then border here i'll say purple uh, hyphen 500 so that it have a nice border and then here i'll say border will be of two and uh, that is about how many px two px nice so we just do that and now it will look much much better so i save and then i come back and uh, right now i think that should be automatically updated and there we go so as you can see now we have our own local stream right here and it's a small one and then we have this big one for peer and now we have the video uh, going on and the next thing that we will do now is to end a call so we will implement a function to hang up we'll emit the events and then we will clean up everything whenever we receive the events uh, and whenever we are making that like hang up event so i'll see you on the next one where we will handle that